There's more news about the salvage, the munching to be precise. This was supposed to be the next big thing, planned for 3.22. It was supposed to be used after you salvage the outer layer of the ship to munch up the inner parts. It's unfortunately not gonna happen, not at least in a way that they promised us, simply because the game engine has certain limitations, spawning in thousands of small pieces of debris from destroying a ship like 890 Jump, this would take forever, and it probably would cause massive lag. Instead of mulching, we're gonna get structural salvage. This means breaking the ship apart, basically for both Vulture and of course the Reclaimer. There is the Fracture field, which will break the ships apart, and the Resonance field, which allows you to collect those parts. And to avoid any exploitation with the Fracture field, it requires that the targeted ship be turned off. No UI, engines or shields. So once you have fractured the ship, you can now disintegrate them. This is a really interesting visual as it turns it pretty much into dust and sucks it in. Now with this, there also comes the internal storage, which means you can store certain amount of crates or not yet crates, but material, which you have salvaged. This means you won't have to leave your seat every time there's two crates full of materials salvaged and you can actually wait for up to 13 crates and then produce them one by one. This will allow us to do some proper salvaging and not some running around in between salvaging and storing. For both Vulture and the Reclaimer, it is supposed to be bigger than the whole storage area of the ship, slightly bigger. But from the clip, it did suggest that for the Reclaimer, it is 140 units of cargo. This means you can do one process of your work, like salvage it all up, and then do the storing part. Not needing to constantly salvage, store, salvage, store. Even though crates are made one by one, you can now give your ship a command to start producing all of these crates, so you can do the lifting part while the ship starts producing them one by one. For the Reclaimer, Claw won't work as originally intended, so it is going to be turned into a fracturing disintegration tool, which the co-pilot can control. It will work the similar way it does for the Vulture, and you cannot disintegrate big ships with Vulture, so you will need a Reclaimer if you wish to do so. It kind of would have been nice for them to keep the claw for the Reclaimer, and made it work in just a way of biting big chunks of ships and, well, just doing a couple of bites and disappearing them or turning them into scrap. But I see this disintegration beam as the second best solution and it's not that bad. But I do like that they wanted to keep the claw at the view of the co-pilot to actually see where it is, where it's pointing towards. But unfortunately it cannot turn so it will be straight out in front of the ship and the co-pilot will just need to manage with it. The salvage seats do have tractor beams so they can help assist in bringing the object straight in the view of the disintegrator. Reclaimer will also be able to produce 1 SCU containers, 2 SCU containers, 8 SCU containers and 16 SCU containers. This means there is quite a lot less heavy lifting than there is with the single containers that were produced previously. There are a few things you might want to be aware of. The disintegrator will take everything that is within its field of view and so if you don't have enough storage for the scrap the salvage, all of it will be lost, so keep that in mind. Crafting the multi-tool or its components within your ship have now also been adjusted. Some items may now require two different types of salvage, the recycled material and construction material. Overall, it's a pretty nice rework and actually allowing us to do some salvage before we get to the storing part of the, well, the game loop. So this should be out with the next patch and actually seems to make salvaging a lot more reasonable. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe and thanks for watching.